Welcome back, everyone, to Blue Protocol. We will be having a wonderful protocol-tacular time here, talking about statistics. A lot of people I do see having a terrible build, and it's not really their fault. And while you can just simply take these thumbs up things and stack them easily and have a decent time with the game, that is not optimal. I'll be going over a more in-depth guide about the attributes for the true nerds, where I go over all of this, the culinary responses and the level up items, as well as the alchemical ingredients to increase and really truly min max every drop of damage in another video. This is going to be for your armor. We have on the lifeline spec Oracle, we have intellect, haste, and mastery so i'll be going over the main stats in this video and how to maximize your output grit is a good secondary stat luck is a good secondary stat versatility is not really a great secondary stack for the oracle and the block means zero. First, let's hit up the main stats now for the big nerd we are going to go into the values and how you're actually going to calculate them in your stats so you know which milestones to hit on your sheet Currently, I have a crit of 7.08%. This is largely unimportant for the Oracle, or at best, a secondary stat that you can just live with on a piece of gear instead of farming. Right here, you can see my crit value is 95, giving me a 2.08% addition to my crit stat. All the crits have a base stat of 5, at least on the Oracle. Classes may vary, may not. Please check your actual class, especially depending on skill trees. This number actually comes from this formula right here. This formula will be the formula for all of your percentage stats. You have your main stats and then you have your advanced stats. These are your advanced stats. Crit, haste, luck, mastery, versatility, and block. All of the percentage formulas to tell you what your output is. So I have a crit value on my character at 95 currently, giving me a total of 7.08%. This 4,457 number is a addition in the denominator of the formula so that the devs can balance builds easily. And it comes out to 95 divided by 4,000. 552, giving us a total crit percentage of 2.08%. The 2.80% is then added to the base 5% on the character. Now, this matters for a couple reasons, this one being the main one. It's diminishing returns. Diminishing returns is basically making it impossible to reach any percentage value in the crazy high numbers. As you can see, you're basically limited to everything being south of 50%. This is a little different based off of the stats that can do things like double, uh, such as the beat performer and the luck stat. Down here is the value of the stat itself. So crit value is really low down here somewhere on my Oracle. And if we go into my haste range, the haste range being at 21%, 21% having a value at 1200 on the Oracle. The reason I have stacked haste into the Oracle is one, it is one of its primary stats and it has that thumbs up logo for a good reason. Haste on the Oracle is how often it procs a healing charge. So if I heal once, and then I heal 21% faster, my healing increases by a value of 21%, which mastery also being a factor on my Oracle does the same effect. The reason mastery at 793 gives me a value of 21% as well is because it has a base of 6%. This is taking into factor the build that I have put on because the more equal I can get those stats via distribution, the higher my healing output will be. For instance, I have mastery and haste on my chest piece. Because mastery gets the extra 6% on the base value, I can invest less and get higher returns in the mastery. So I should over 
Silver Stack Mastery via haste due to diminishing returns happening faster in the haste department because I don't have the 6% addition. I need to find the best haste mastery distribution in my stats for perfect rolls if I want to min-max my gear. Although I largely think that min-maxing is not important right now because we cannot farm for the highest level gear, so anything that we spend a ton of time on right now we'll just have to redo later. If you really want to min-max your character's output, that's fine, you can do that. But this actually brings me to the concept of wills. Wills are going to net you the highest stat return. Simply here, mastery at 800 on the Arachnocrab. If I take the Arachnocrab and somehow advance it over time to the level 5 Arachnocrab without spending money, which is possible, different guide later, I will have a mastery of 2,000. Let's say I'm level 60 and my mastery is at 2,000. Then I add 2,000 on top of it and go all the way to the 4,000 point. This will bring my mastery to 50%. 50% is massive. And if you take the Arach Crab with 50% on mastery and the Celestial Flyer, which will do the same thing for haste, these become the easy two best slots to pick for the healer. If you're the healer and you want to min-max absolutely maximum territory time, Celestial Flyer and the Arachna Crab are the two best wills possible. It is a pain to farm, but if you want to play the game for an extended period of time, honestly, I find it okay. The grind is fine. The grind is fun in this game. You can sort of pay your way to get there if you want to spend thousands of dollars, but that's not really what we're after here for. And to be honest, it's largely unnecessary in this game, especially right now. No, this game is not pay to win. Arona's stats are good stats, and she reses four people. This is very good in a different sense, but it really depends on what you want. If you want the resing ability, Arona will be the best. If you want maximum healing output, the crab and the flyer will be the best, simply for the stat increases. <laughs> if your character can have more than one increase on the will that would make their will specifically better for outputting stats, that's not saying the stats are the most important thing in a build, like for the tank, for example, damage res resistance is one of the most important stats, but you get a lot of quality of life things inside of the wills themselves that make other wills better to get if you're a tank. I will do a full will guide later. I'm just explaining how stat values really matter in this area. This will be in my Discord if you really want it inside of the Blue Protocol discussion. Feel free to join. We have a fun time over there. Currently, my guild is open. I am allowing everyone that wants to play to play in my guild. It is Chromatic Edge. You can catch us on there. We are poor, so feel free to join. My stuff mainly focuses on min-maxing gear and output in the most friendly ways to play the game. I do not think it is healthy to spend 40 hours to just increase your thing a little bit unless you're really having fun doing it anyway. I do a lot of this stuff on Twitch if you want to catch me live. The link is in the description. If you have any questions, you can come and ask them live. No, you don't have to follow if you don't want to. No, you don't have to sub if you don't want to. Simply come in there, ask a question, and GTFO if that's what you're after. Y'all have a sick day and peace out.